Imagine holding a camera that makes you rethink what a single device can do. A camera that doesn't force you to choose between detail and speed, between photography and video, between creative freedom and professional reliability. A camera that quietly redraws the line between full frame and medium format. That is exactly why the Sony A7R6 is already being talked about as one of the most important camera releases of this generation, even before Sony has officially revealed it. For years, the A7R line has stood for one thing above all else. Resolution without compromise. Sony was the brand that pushed full-frame sensors further than anyone else, delivering insane detail while still keeping bodies compact and relatively affordable compared to medium format systems. With every generation, Sony raised the bar, but the A7R6 feels different. This doesn't sound like a routine upgrade. It sounds like a shift in direction, a moment where Sony stops playing safe and decides to redefine what a high-resolution hybrid camera is supposed to be. The biggest reason for this excitement is the rumored new sensor, an 80-megapixel full-frame backside illuminated sensor. That number alone changes the conversation. The A7RV already delivers 61 megapixels, which is more than enough for massive prints, heavy cropping, and demanding commercial work. Most photographers never fully max out what 61 megapixels can do. So when Sony moves beyond that, it's not about chasing numbers for marketing. It's about entering a new creative space. An 80 megapixel sensor pushes full frame dangerously close to medium format territory, but without the usual downsides. You don't need massive lenses. You don't need a bulky body. You don't need to slow down your workflow or spend five figures just to access that level of detail. Sony seems to be aiming for something very specific here. Maximum usable resolution, not extreme for the sake of bragging rights, but refined enough to fit real-world professional workflows. Early rumors did mention a possible 100 megapixel sensor, but Sony reportedly stepped back from that idea. And honestly, that decision makes sense. Once you go too far, resolution starts working against you. File sizes explode. Readout speeds slow down. Heat becomes a problem. Low-light performance suffers. By choosing 80 megapixels, Sony appears to have found a sweet spot. High enough to feel revolutionary. Practical enough to be used every day. What makes this sensor even more interesting is that it's not just about pixel count. The real story is pixel quality. Better dynamic range. Improved color depth. Smoother tonal transitions. Cleaner shadow recovery. These are the things that matter to professionals. When you're working on commercial images, fashion shoots, landscapes, or high-end retouching jobs, flexibility in post-production is everything. And the A7R6 is rumored to deliver more latitude than any full-frame Sony before it. Of course, pushing that much data through a camera requires serious processing power. This is where Sony's new internal architecture comes in. The A7R6 is expected to use the latest version of Sony's Bion's XR processor, paired with dual dedicated AI processing units. This combination isn't just about speed, it's about intelligence. Every frame captured by this camera contains an enormous amount of information, and all of it needs to be analyzed instantly. Autofocus calculations, exposure adjustments, noise reduction, color science, subject recognition. All of this happens in real time, and according to leaks, the A7R6 handles it with surprising smoothness. Faster startup, snappier menus, instant image review, no lag, even when pushing the camera hard. This matters more than people realize. A flagship camera should feel invisible. It should never slow you down. And Sony seems to understand that deeply with this release. Noise performance is another area where concerns naturally come up with high-resolution sensors. More pixels often mean more noise, especially at higher ISO values. But Sony has been refining its sensor technology for years, and the A7R6 is expected to deliver noticeable improvements in mid- to high ISO ranges. Clean images. Fine grain. Usable detail, even when light drops. That's crucial for photographers who don't always work in controlled environments. One of the most surprising leaks surrounding the A7R6 is its burst shooting speed. 
Traditionally, high-resolution cameras sacrifice. Speed. You choose detail or you choose action. Rarely both. But the A7 or 6 might change that rule completely. Reports suggest mechanical burst speeds of up to 12 frames per second, with electronic shutter speeds reaching around 15 frames per second. Just a few years ago, that would have sounded impossible for a camera with this level of resolution. But Sony has been quietly improving sensor readout speeds, internal data pipelines, and heat management. If these numbers are accurate, the A7R6 becomes something very rare. A camera that can shoot wildlife, sports, and fast-moving subjects without forcing you to give up resolution. Imagine photographing birds in flight with 80 megapixels. Imagine freezing a decisive sports moment with enough detail to crop aggressively afterward. Imagine shooting events where you need speed now and flexibility later. This is the kind of versatility professionals have been asking for, and Sony appears ready to deliver it. Handling these massive files requires smart storage options, and Sony seems well aware of that. The A7R6 is expected to feature dual card slots, supporting CFX Express Type A cards alongside UHS 2 SD cards. This gives photographers and filmmakers options. Maximum speed when you need it. Affordable storage when you don't. Flexibility is everything at this level, and Sony's approach reflects real-world usage not just spec sheet priorities. Autofocus has always been one of Sony's strongest advantages, and the A7R6 looks set to extend that lead even further. With enhanced AI processing, the camera is expected to deliver more accurate subject recognition and more reliable tracking in complex environments. Human eye autofocus should become even more precise. Animal and bird tracking is rumored to be smarter and more consistent. Less hunting, fewer missed shots. What's especially interesting is the possibility of expanded subject recognition categories. Insects, baricolas, fast moving objects. These aren't gimmicks. They reflect how photographers actually work today. Wildlife shooters, motorsport photographers, documentary creators. The more intelligently the camera understands the scene, the more it becomes a creative partner instead of just a tool. At 80 megapixels, autofocus accuracy becomes absolutely critical. Even the smallest focus error is immediately visible. Sony knows this. That's why autofocus improvements are not optional here. They are essential. And if the leaks are accurate, the A7 or 6 could offer the most dependable autofocus system Sony has ever put into a stills focus camera. In-body image stabilization is another area seeing meaningful upgrades. Reports suggest stabilization performance in the range of 8 to 8.5 stops. That's a big deal. It means handheld shooting becomes far more practical, even with high-resolution sensors. Slower shutter speeds. Lower ISO. More freedom in low light. Landscape photographers benefit by reducing reliance on tripods. Travel photographers gain flexibility. Street photographers can work quietly and quickly and videographers get smoother handheld footage without extra gear. Sony stabilization systems have steadily improved, and the A7R6 looks ready to push that even further. Video is where this camera truly becomes a hybrid powerhouse. The A7R line was once considered stills first, video second. That line is fading fast. The A7R6 is rumored to support 8K video recording potentially up to 60 frames per second. That's not just impressive, it's transformative. 8K allows for extreme detail. It allows for cropping and reframing in post. It allows creators to future-proof their content. Oversampled 4K recording it up to 120 frames per second is also expected, delivering stunning slow motion footage with exceptional clarity. Combined with 10-bit 4.2.2 internal recording S, log 3, and possibly 16-bit raw output via HDMI, the A7R6 becomes a serious filmmaking tool. These features place enormous stress on thermal management. Sony has faced criticism in the past for overheating issues, but leaks suggest the A7R6 includes improved heat sinks, better internal airflow, and a more efficient overall thermal design. Long recording times matter. Reliability matters. 
Professionals cannot afford interruptions. If Sony succeeds here, the A7 or 6 could earn a reputation as one of the most dependable hybrid cameras available. That matters more than headline specs. A camera that works every time is worth more than one that low. Okay, it's good on paper. Physically, the A7 or 6 is expected to retain Sony's solid magnesium alloy body with enhanced weather sealing. Built for real-world use. Zen, dust, cold, heat, ergonomics may see subtle refinements. A deeper grip, better balance with large lenses, improved button placement for faster operation. The electronic viewfinder is expected to remain Sony's high-resolution 9.4, 4 million dot OLED panel with a smooth 120Hz refresh rate. It's already one of the best EVFs on the market. The rear screen should continue using the multi-angle 3.2-inch touchscreen design, supporting everything from traditional shooting to vertical content creation. Pricing is expected to land between $3,999 and $4,499. This places the A7R6 firmly in flagship territory. It's not cheap, but it's also competing with cameras that cost much more, including some medium format systems. When you look at what this camera promises to deliver, the price starts to make sense. What makes the A7R6 especially compelling is its balance. Photography and video, resolution and speed, intelligence and reliability. Achieving that balance is incredibly difficult. Sony has to avoid cannibalizing its cinema line while still satisfying hybrid creators. That's a delicate strategy, but Sony has more experience navigating it than almost any other brand. If even half of these rumored specifications become reality, the A7 or 6 will be a milestone camera, one that influences how competitors design their future models, one that proves high-resolution no longer means compromise, one that turns AI from a buzzword into a real creative advantage. My honest opinion is this. If Sony delivers on these leaks, the A7R6 could be one of the most important cameras of the decade. Not because it chases trends, but because it quietly solves real problems. It gives creators freedom. Freedom to shoot anything, anywhere, without feeling limited by their gear. This is the kind of camera that could replace multiple bodies in a professional kit. Landscape, wildlife, fashion, weddings, commercial work, video production. One tool, no excuses. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel, share the video, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss future leaks, updates, and deep dives like this one.